welcome back. So it's been a minute just to catch you up if you aren't familiar with what's going on. Um, I am scratch building a V4 two-stroke Grand Prix motor using off-the-shelf parts. Uh, so I'm using a Triumph XC800 gearbox and four YZ85 cylinders. So the YZ85 also gives me the option of using a 112cc kit, so that'll take it out to 450cc. The designs are done. I have made a few patterns and I am getting this cast professionally uh, by an outfit local to myself. So before I go there, I want to make sure I have all my ducks in a row and by that meaning my lost foam casting process that needs to be sort of down pat. So um, for my previous pour, if you've seen my V-twin build, um, you'll see I used pretty much a steel funnel um, when I poured the aluminium and cast the crankcases. So that's not the best way to do things. So I got sidetracked for about a month coming up with a pouring basin. So long story short, I got some sodium silicate or water glass, um, sort of like what comes in a, or it is what comes in um, stop leak, radiator stop leak, things like that. Um, you mix it in with the sand and it reacts with CO2 um, to harden the sand. So I used that, um, 3D printed a pattern and made a pouring basin. So this part that I have cast um, well, last weekend, that was essentially just a trial run of the pouring basin and just making sure that the gating um, would work, you know, um, as planned. So here's the part. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I was pretty excited um, when I tipped it over and this came out. It was a, you know, this is the third time um, I've lost foam cast anything. So it came out perfect. Um, there are a few leakers here. A leak is where um, the aluminium breaches the plaster and you get like, it mixes with the sand and you get these little little defects, they'll just come off with a grinder, um, with a paddle, paddle wheel, but um, other than that it came out perfect, I can't see any porosity, so one of the points I took on board after uh, talking to the foundry was I didn't want to get this over 720 degrees celsius, as over that temperature um, the aluminium readily starts absorbing hydrogen gas, oh, don't quote me on any of this by the way, um, and yeah, you're going to get more gas dissolved in your aluminium and your casting is going to be more porous. Yeah, this could be used. I could actually use this and practice uh, machining on here, but I'm not going to do that because I've already got another pattern ready to go and we're going to go and get this cast for real. So this and the front crankcase half, and then those are going to be sent away and heat treated to T6 hardness. Once that is done, and once that pour is successful, I will be machining the patterns for the rear crankcase half. Um, yeah, then from there, I will machine the rear crankcase half to make to this, get the faces, and then I've got someone helping me, and we're going to line bore the cases, and then make up a 4140 shaft, have that hardened, and we're going to cut the gears, so there'll be... Um, a gear on each crank coupler and two gears on the lay shaft um, and that will transmit power to the stock Triumph gearbox. I am a pretty busy person, I do overcommit quite a lot so if you've seen my other channel I've been um, porting a rotary engine for my friend, we did it on the CNC mill, that was pretty cool so I've done some porting um, um, yeah, and if you want to see more rotary content or how I did the CNC porting, um, yep, let me know because that is something else I have enough um, footage to make a video about sort of in between when I'm doing this stuff with the V4. If you want to help out, um, yeah, like, subscribe, um, yeah, 